what's going on collective what's up with y'all what's going on what's going on what's going on what's up y'all what's up what's up babies happy thursday everybody i hope you guys are feeling well it's so crazy i thought today was wednesday i really did i thought today was wednesday and i was like mm, nope today is definitely thursday girl get with the program get with the program it is not wednesday but what's up y'all happy thursday everybody happy libra season shout outs to all the libras out there happy birthday libra what's up collective welcome back those of you that's returning and welcome to be true tarot if you are new and you decided to tap in with us for the first time i am happy so happy to have you guys all here with me thank you guys for all the likes comments shares subscribes donations let me tell you some of y'all been sending me early birthday gifts and i just want to say thank you thank you thank you you know who you are um shout outs to those of you that have been sending me birthday gifts i appreciate it so so much thank you guys for all the kind words thank you guys for the vimos the cash apps thank you thank you thank you thank you you guys are so sweet okay i love y'all so much thank you and if you was waiting on a personal reading please check your email i sent out all personal readings already so make sure you go ahead and check out your email i'm excited for today's messages and i'm gonna tell you why and we're gonna open it together okay kevin i received the intuitive tarot deck you guys know that i love intuitive kev i love him huge fan um huge supporter of his love 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 him um and you guys know that i love to use his kippa ish deck for our readings so i already have the kippa ish deck i use that for a lot of our readings but today we got a new baby that has arrived thank you kevin shout outs to kevin y'all make sure that y'all get intuitive kev's tarot deck okay make sure y'all get the kippa ish deck too i'm not sure if he's gonna restock it anytime soon i know that every time he puts his decks out they sell out really really fast so y'all might want to hop up on there and get them quickly okay i don't even think the kippa ish is on his etsy right now because i don't think he has any in stock right now because you guys be buying them up but be on the lookout in case he restocks i'm not sure if he will um but be on the lookout but definitely get his tarot deck okay his tarot deck is up on his etsy shop now uh super beautiful packaging um this is what the packaging looks like it's so pretty i'm so excited i'm so hyped um he also gives you he writes a nice note in it for you and he also gives you um a, a guide sheet and it's very thorough and he explains each card um so he gives the meanings for each one and then on the opposite side he gives like the reversal meanings he gives the oracle meanings sorry so he gives the oracle meanings and then he gives the meanings of the tarot so you got the tarot cards here and then it's a few oracle cards that's also in this deck and that's on the back side of this sheet with the meanings as well um kev is very intuitive he's very gifted and his decks i resonate with his decks the energy i resonate with i'm able to get really really clear and accurate very precise messages when i use his deck so i definitely swear by this 10 out of 10 recommend his decks i'm excited to use this i'm excited to open this i already ripped the plastic off the outside but we are going to rip off the plastic on the actual cards together okay look what he wrote on the back it says Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. I love this message. Kev says this a lot in his readings. Before his readings, he gives this message. I love it. And I love that he wrote it on the back of this deck. Really, really beautiful. Um, I'm excited to have this. Kevin, God bless you. Thank you so much. This is so beautiful. You're so talented. You're an amazing artist. You're an amazing reader. And you're just so gifted. And I just love you. So, all right, y'all. So he splits. He got them in two separate, separate sections. The cards are absolutely beautiful from what I can see. I already know the cards are beautiful because I watch his readings. And I, I see the cards in his readings. So I'm excited to have this. Also, they have gilded edges. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. 
okay y'all see the glare right they have gilded edges very excited about this um it's a hundred cards in this deck so now we got the tarot deck to go with the oracle deck i'm excited about this kev we got both now and the oracle the kippa ish oracle deck has gilded edges too but these edges are silver so these edges are like a metallic silver for the intuitive um kippa ish and then the tarot deck has these golden gilded edges so very exciting thank you so much kev shout outs to kev kev you are amazing we love you sending you so much positive energy so much healing so much love and light all right let's open this together y'all i'm so excited i don't even know what i did with my little um scissor that i had but that's okay i'm gonna use my little tongs um and we're going to open it together. You know what? I don't even want to use. I'm so scared that I'm going to mess it up. Y'all, I'm so I'm so scared that I'm going to mess it up. So I'm going to just bite the edge and take it off like that. Because I feel like if I put my tongs into the plastic, that I'm going to really fuck it up. <laughs> so we ain't going to do it that way. We just going to bite the edge a little bit. And then we just going to rip the plastic off. Oh, happy October to me. Happy early birthday to me, honey. You guys have been showing me so much love. All right. Oh, look at these cards. Oh, so beautiful. Yes, Kev. Kev be doing his thing, man. I love his artwork. I love his artwork. I do. Oh, shit. Look at this ten of swords. <laughs> I love this. Oh, my God, Kev. Thank you. All of today's messages will be with this deck, okay? So we doing the T message for today right now with this deck. Um, and then we're going to do the, um, then I'm going to do some other readings with this deck too. But all of today's messages will be with this deck. Look at the black magic card. Yo, we about to get the T with these messages. I already know. I already know. I already know. Just like with his Kippa Ish deck. Every time I pull that deck, <laughs> we be confirming shit. We be confirming shit like a motherfucker, right? <laughs> like... His decks are the fucking truth. Um, I'm so excited. So excited. Oh, look at these cards. The magician. How beautiful. The high priestess. How beautiful. The empress. Oh, how beautiful. The empress looks so cute with her little pink lipstick on. She got on like some pink lipstick. We got the hermit here. The hermit got a septum piercing. Yo, Kev, this is dope, man. This is real dope, man. Thank you. Thank you, Kev. Thank you. Thank you. I love these cards. I love your art. I, I love everything that you stand for. I love everything that you do. I am truly one of your um, biggest supporters. I, I'm truly a fan, man. Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, Page of Wands. Yeah, these cards are beautiful, Kev. Oh, I love this Ace of Cups. Very beautiful, Kev. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Four of Cups. I love it. Five of Cups. Oh, she's tight. She's crying. <laughs> Six of Cups. Okay, these cards are really nice. Ten of Cups, how nice is this? Kev, now you know this baby too old to have a pacifier in their mouth. Stop playing. <laughs> I love these cards, Kev. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. How sweet is this? How nice is this? Okay, all right, let's get into the messages, y'all. Okay, that was kind of a long intro, right? But I just wanted to share this moment with y'all because I'm super excited to have this deck. All right. Father God, thank you for this beautiful day today. Please cover, shield, protect me as I channel this energy for the collective. I also ask that you cover, shield, protect the viewers that are watching for their highest good. Any negative energy being directed towards me, my channel, and all my viewers shall be reflected upon this rightful owner immediately. No weapon formed against us will ever prosper or evil eye shall go blind. In Jesus' name, amen. Holy Spirit and angels of the highest white light, what messages do you have for the collective at this time? What is it that they need to know? Please block out any interferences, any negative energies want to interfere with the accuracy of the delivery of this message. Holy Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome divine collective at this time? What is it that they need to know, Father God, Holy Spirit? What messages do you have for them? All right, y'all, let's see. Let me get three more shuffles for the collective. We're going to jump right into it. We're going to use this deck right away. And I'll probably clarify with the Kippa Ish or some other Oracle cards. We'll see. Let's just see how it goes. All right, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? So right off the back, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. All right. 
Let's see, y'all. What messages you have for the collective Holy Spirit? Kev, I just want to say, too, like, these cards, they shuffle really good, man. All right? They shuffle really good. So, nine of cups in the reverse and the four of pentacles in the reverse. So, somebody here is really mad. Well, I mean, they may not be mad. They're kind of sad. Somebody here is just sad. I'm picking up on this sad energy. Somebody here could be like, they could feel like they lost something. Okay? Collected. This could also be somebody in their feelings because maybe they feel like they lost you. But somebody here feel like they losing something. They have lost something. They're going to lose something. Somebody here is in a very um, sad energy. Like, I don't know. Somebody here is just very down. All right? Because whoever this is, this person got legal issues now. So that's why they feeling down, okay? Somebody here is, is feeling down because now they have some sort of legal issues. The cycle is, is closing out with whatever situation this is. Uh, collective, somebody here could have also been trying to bring you some sort of legal issues, but now somebody here is unhappy because they have legal issues. Whoever this person is that's unhappy and has legal issues now, this person is a thief, okay? This person could have stole something, okay? They could have definitely stole something. Yep, they very sneaky. All right, the seven of swords here. This is somebody that's very sneaky, very malicious, very cunning. They think they fucking slick and they not. And they not slick because they got caught up. They got legal issues. If they was really slick, if they was really smooth with their shit, if they was really about it, about it, they wouldn't have these legal issues. So somebody here is unhappy because they done got caught the fuck up here. This thief done got caught up. It's a thief here and the energy that the that, 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 uh, I'm getting tongue twisted, tongue tied. There's a thief here in the energy that done got caught the fuck up, okay? This motherfucker done got caught up, child, okay? Hidden enemy has been exposed, okay? This is what the card looks like in the upright, okay? But this hidden enemy has been exposed. Yeah, this motherfucker joker has been exposed. So a hidden enemy, a thief, has been exposed, and now they have some sort of legal issues that has come in for them. Yep. Okay. Twin flame. So for some of you, this could have something to do with a twin flame connection. For some of you, maybe this is your twin that stole something from you. And now this person has legal issues. Take it as it resonates. But something is going on with some sort of twin flame connection here. This could be a third party enemy that is being exposed as well. This could be a third party enemy of your twin flame connection. Okay, collective. Yes, this is somebody that's not divinely got it. This is a wannabe. This is somebody that may work for him downstairs. This is somebody here that could be um, a practitioner here and they may work with the dark arts. This is somebody that is not of the light. This is also somebody that do not have discernment. Whoever this person is that has these legal issues, this thief, this person lacks discernment. Yeah, this person about to get caught up, y'all. Somebody here going to jail, okay? Whoop, whoop. God damn, that's a squad call. Whoop, whoop. God damn, that's a squad call. Who that? That's Gucci Mane, okay? Shout outs to Gucci Mane. Shout outs to Gucci Mane, okay? Listen, I'm telling you, it's a squad call coming. Them boys is coming. Legal issues in the motherfucking chariot, okay? Hidden enemy exposed. This thief has been exposed. They unhappy. They know they about to get picked up. This person could have already gotten picked up or they about to get picked up. Somebody here could have a strong water placement, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person could be a water sign or they could have strong water in a chart. I'm intuitively feeling that. But whoever this person is, no matter what they sign is, this person getting picked up. This person don't got caught. And they don't want the cycle to end. This is somebody here that don't want the cycle to end. They still want to like... They want to stand their ground. They, they want to like continue to lie. This is somebody that wants to continue to lie. They want to continue to spin some sort of false narrative, but this person is all jacked up, okay? They all jacked up. Yep, they all jacked up. This person is stuck. They bound. They stuck. They, they bound. They feel imprisoned. I feel like this person feels imprisoned in their own mind. There's some sort of mental prison that this person is currently in, but I also feel like they about to actually go to prison. This person could be going to jail. They could be getting locked up here for sure. Um, damn. Give me something here on this Seven of Swords. Told you we was going to get the tea with Kevin messages. I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all, okay? I told y'all. Not with Kevin messages, but with Kevin's cards. I told y'all we was about to get the tea. I told y'all. <laughs> like, all right. Yeah, and whatever negative energy this person's been sending you, that shit is being mirrored back to them. Somebody here could be an Aquarius, or they could have Aquarius placements. 
Somebody here could be a water sign or an Aquarius, or they could have strong water or Aquarius in their chart. But whoever this person is, that shit been mirrored back to them. Whatever this person's been doing, it's been it's been coming back to them. This person could be feeling defeated right now. You know, five of swords in the reverse to me, especially, you know, with all these other cards surrounding it, this is like something here done backfired, some sort of boomerang effect. Something here has been mirrored back. Somebody here feels defeated. Somebody here definitely feel like they've lost, okay? Somebody here feels like whatever evil eye, whatever negative energy they've been projecting towards you has come back to them. Um, and this is why they have these legal issues. This is why they've been exposed. Uh, for some of you, it could be because this person actually stole something from you. And then for others of you, this person just got some sort of legal issues that have come up in their life based on them trying to spiritually attack you in some way. So for some of y'all, these legal issues has something to do with they with what they took from you, okay? And then for others of you, it could just be something that they did that was illegal that is now catching up to them based on the fact that they've been caught up. This person has broke some sort of spiritual laws and they've actually bro broke the law here in the 3D in the physical realm. But yeah, this person definitely feel defeated here with the five of scores in the reverse. Yeah, this person's a goddamn liar. Okay, this person is a liar. This is somebody that is a liar. Okay, they're a liar. Yeah, they're a liar. They're very manipulative. Very manipulative. The magician in the reverse. This person made a conscious decision to try to manipulate a situation, to try to manipulate you collective, manipulate your twin. Take it as it resonates. But somebody here made a conscious decision to try to manipulate a situation. Okay. Yeah, the magician in the reverse. Somebody here is definitely false. Very false. This is a false person. This is a fake-ass person here. And this is somebody here that likes to do spell work. They like to deceive. They like to create illusions. And they feel like the only person that now has been deceived is them. Yeah, this person is showing up as the queen of cups in the reverse. So this person could definitely be a water sign. I keep picking up on water energy. Somebody in this situation is a water sign. They are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or they have strong water in a chart. Somebody here could also be an Aquarius, or they have strong Aquarius in a chart. But whoever this person is, they're deceptive. Queen of Cups in the reverse is a very deceitful energy here. This is somebody here that may act like they're um, compassionate. They may act like they're kind, they're understanding, they're loving, they're generous. You know, they try to portray themselves to be the Queen of Cups in the upright, but really it's a manipulation. This person is wearing a mask. The Magician reverse, the Queen of Cups reverse. This may actually even be somebody that is currently with your twin. That's for some of you, okay? But whoever this person is, yeah, Spirit just said it's the copycat, it's the doppelganger, it's the karmic. So whoever this Queen of Cups in the reverse is, is actually a karmic energy here, all right? And this is a hidden enemy that has now been exposed, so they're not so hidden anymore. This person is not hidden anymore. They've been exposed okay yes and the king of pentacles may know about this okay a king of pentacles could have recently had some sort of epiphany some sort of awakening they've discovered the truth about this person this person could be a taurus or they could have taurus in a chart but whoever this king of pentacles is this person definitely see the truth here somebody here sees the truth there's a masculine energy here that is now seeing the truth about a queen of cups in the reverse the rose colored glasses are now off Yes, I cannot make it up. Confirmation, Ace of Swords. This person is also showing up as the King of Cups. Okay, they they know. Look at this. They know that this Queen of Cups in the reverse is a false person. I just told you she wears a mask. She likes to portray that she's the Queen of Cups in the upright, but she's really the Queen of Cups in the reverse. She's two-faced. This is somebody that may have a personality disorder. This is somebody that may have a split personality, but this is somebody that is a false person. They've worked very hard to appear to be somebody that is of divine light, okay, divinity. This is somebody that wants to portray themselves as a divine being when really there's no light here. There's nothing but darkness. There's nothing but um, a facade here. They're fake. They're phony. Fictitious character. Okay? Multiple personalities. Multiple sides here. I'm telling you. False person. Ace of Swords. That confirms everything I just said. That's the truth. So whoever this Queen of Cups in the reverse is, is indeed a false person. And this King of Pentacles, King of Cups, see the truth about them.
They see the truth about this Queen of Cups in the reverse. This person could be an Earth sign or he could be a Water sign. He could be a Pisces, a Taurus. He could have Pisces or Taurus in his chart. He could also have Cancer, Scorpio, or Capricorn, Virgo in his chart. Whoever this man is, he's very stable and he's very loving. This is somebody that's about their business. This is somebody that take care. They, they take good care of themselves. They take good care of their responsibilities, take good care of home, and they take good care of whoever they in a connection with. And this is why this Queen of Cups in the reverse was trying to portray to be somebody that they're not because they want this person to take care of them, okay? That's the message that I'm getting as well. Whoever this Queen of Cups in the reverse is, she got like some sort of Jezebel spirit on her and she wants to be taken care of by this King of Pentacles, this King of Cups. But he's seeing the truth about her. Ace of Swords, false person. Yeah, this hidden enemy has been exposed. Yeah, up in the clouds. His head is not up in the clouds anymore. We got up in the clouds in the reverse here. His head is not up in the clouds anymore. He see this shit. He see it for what it is. He see it clear as day. Hidden enemy exposed. He see it clear as day, child. And for some of y'all, these legal issues that's coming up, that could be another reason why, you know, he has been um, awakened to who this person really is. But his head is not in the clouds anymore. He is well aware of what the hell is going on. He know that this person is fake. He know that this person is trash. Yeah, trash box. Look at this shit. They trash. Basura. Okay, somebody has a fucking trash box. Let me look at this. Um, Kev, let me look at your uh, guidance sheet. Let's see here. Let's look at the guidance sheet, y'all. Let's see what trash box say. Hold on. Trash box says a fool, ignorance, an opportunist, lacking knowledge, a clown. Exactly, a fucking clown. Okay, look at this clown Kev done drew. <laughs> this, this clown is funny, right? Yes, a fucking clown. Lacking knowledge, an opportunist, ignorance, and a fool. That's what this is described as. This person is trash. Fucking trash box. You understand what I'm saying? Fucking garbage. Whoever this person is, they're opportunists. I just told you that this Queen of Cups in the reverse is somebody I want to be taken care of. They got some sort of Jezebel gold digger kind of spirit, you know? They got like a Jezebel spirit on them. I just said this. This person is trash. They're a fucking clown. And this, whoever this King of Pentacles, King of Cups is, they see this shit clear as day. They're not confused. They was confused about this person at one point. They may have even thought that this person was their twin flame. But they know for a fact now that this Queen of Cups in the reverse is not their twin. They're not their person. They looking at this person as somebody that's ignorant, somebody that's trash, somebody that's an opportunist, somebody that's a clown, somebody that's false. Okay, they may even be looking at this person as a false prophet. She could have even been posing as somebody that was psychic, intuitive, gifted, somebody that's divinely guided. It's like, yo, just cut it out. Cut it out. Who you fooling? You ain't fooling nobody now. You've been exposed. Like, pack it the fuck up, shorty. Yeah. Whoever you are collective, you practice white magic. You know what I'm saying? You are someone that's divine. That's why I say you a light worker and there's somebody that practice the dark arts. They believe in the dark arts. They work with people that, you know, perform in the dark arts here. This bitch may be working together with multiple practitioners here to manipulate the situation in some way. This is somebody here wanting to manipulate a twin flame connection. Whoever you are, you may pray a lot collective. Your prayers definitely be getting answered. They definitely be heard. You have a direct, I'm hearing you have, some of y'all have a direct line of communication with the most high. Your answer, your prayer is definitely beginning answered. Yeah, white magic. You a manifester. You guys could be really big on meditation, really big on prayer. Let's see. Let's see what Kevin wrote for white magic. It says energy work done in a high vibration, protective magic defense, um, protective magic, defensive magic, prayer man manifestation. Yeah, that's what I just said. You a manifester. You somebody that prays a lot. Some of you may even be prayer warriors. Okay, you may protect yourself against, you know, dark energy, negative forces, black magic that be sent towards you with your prayers. You know, when you a prayer warrior, you could really do damage with your prayers. You ain't got to fight. You ain't got to fight darkness with darkness. No, absolutely not. Your light will always win. Love always wins collected. You are somebody of a high vibration. You get the job done by just talking to the most high. By keeping your vibration high, by protecting yourself, doing your cleanses, doing your salt baths, right? Burning your resin, burning your sage, you know? Working with your crystals, working with your oils, working with your candles. You do a lot of protective magic for yourself, and it's really powerful. Collective, whoever you are, your protective magic is super powerful, okay? And your prayers are super powerful. For some of you, you may not even do 
any rituals to protect yourself even though you know i feel like you should get into it you should do it but for some of you you may not even do that you know you just simply pray you just simply talk to god and that right there is enough because you somebody that's very powerful and you have a direct line of communication with the most high with your spirit team your angels your archangels the guardian angels and your ancestors they always around you a lot of y'all have angelic protection so it's like anytime you need something or anytime you need to talk to them about something. They there. They listen to him. They there. They, they with you 24-7, 365, 366 in the leap year. I cannot make it up. The most high. The most high is always there collective. Yo, Kev, shout outs to you, baby. Shout outs to these cards, man. Oh, I'm so excited to have this deck. But yes, the most high here, okay? The most high is always with you collective. Okay, I rest my case, man. Yeah, and now you being watched, okay? This third party enemy, this bitch is watching you. This is somebody that's obsessively watching you because she feel exposed, you know? Somebody here could be a Gemini or they could have Gemini in their chart. But whoever this is, it's like this person constantly watching you. This queen of cups in the reverse, this magician reverse, this page of swords energy. Yeah, this is somebody that keep watching y'all collective. They know that you protected. They pissed off. This is somebody that may even be shocked to realize that they are karmic. This bitch been wearing a mask for so goddamn long. She don't even know who she truly is. Could you have y'all ever met people like that? That lie so damn much that they start to believe their own lies. They forget what kind of lies they told. They start to believe their own lies. That's how much they lie. That's this kind of bitch. Yeah, somebody here is fucking nuts, man. Somebody here can have a Pisces moon, or they can have Pisces in their chart, strong Pisces placements. But this is somebody that has planted some sort of seeds and tried to manifest and tried to affirm something. This this is somebody here that may also try to, you know, write down or journal or make, you know, try to say like certain affirmations and things like that. This is somebody that likes to try to call things into their life. But, you know, really, it's just false here. So a lot of things that they may have manifested or gotten or for false pretenses is now being stripped away from them. This person, if they did have some sort of gifts as well, this Queen of Cups in the reverse, this person is being stripped of their gifts because they, they have been using their gifts for ill, with ill intent. So if they was gifted at some point, they definitely fucked around. This person got tricked out of their spot, okay? If they was supposed to be somebody that was divine, they done fucked around and, and they done got tricked out of their spot. This person done forfeited their contract. This person is not divine anymore. They're not receiving any divine guidance anymore. That's why divine guidance is in the reverse. This is somebody that may have supposed to been one of us collected. This person could have had some sort of divinity, could have had some sort of gifts, some sort of strong intuition. They don't have that anymore because they was too busy focused on what you have. They was too busy focused on attacking you. They was too busy focused on a twin flame connection that you're supposed to be in. Or they was too busy focused. They was just too busy focused on your life and what you got coming towards you and who you are. And it, it's like this person basically spat in God's face. That's how God felt. God felt like this person just was ungrateful. Um, this person spat in God's face. It's like, yo, I'm not grateful for anything that I have. I'm too busy focused on the next person that I can't even count my own blessings. You know what I'm saying? So nothing is, go nothing is growing for this person. This person has no crops coming in. You know, harvest season is approaching. And many of the chosen ones, many of the divine beings that receive their guidance, right? It's like those of you that are light workers, that practice white magic, light magic, that um, are very close and tight with the most high. You know, it's our harvest season. It's harvest season for a lot of us, right? This person could have thought that they had some sort of harvest coming in. This person's crops are destroyed. Their crops are destroyed. There's no harvest for this person at all. Like, it's just, it's a desert. It's a, it's a desert. It's dry. Their well is running dry. Their cup is empty. This person is burnt out. They, they have nothing to look forward to. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Only thing they have to look forward to is some damn legal issues. <laughs> I'm telling you, for some of y'all, that's what the hell is going on. Okay? God damn. Yikes. I don't know, y'all. Whoever you are, collective, you showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. You could be an Earth sign. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Cap, or you could have that in your chart. You know, this karmic femme is, is crying. She's tight. She's pissed off because what she tried to keep hidden is now being exposed. Somebody here is definitely a Gemini or a water sign, or they can have strong Gemini or water in a chart. That's how this person is showing up. 
That's how they're showing up. Queen of Cups in the reverse, and we got a lot of Gemini energy here. So that could be a placement in a chart. That don't have to be their sun sign. They could just have strong Gemini or water somewhere in their chart. But I'm telling you, this person feel foolish. You know, they feel very foolish. This person feel like they did something too quickly. They may feel like they did something too impulsive. This person could have thought that their intuition was on point, but they was already being stripped of their gifts because they was already sending you the evil eye. So like I said, if this person was somebody that has strong intuition, their intuition is now blocked. So whatever downloads they they feel like they're receiving, whatever they feel like they intuitively know, they can't even trust it. It's not even the right guidance. This person is not getting their guidance. They're not getting their downloads. They're not getting their messages from source. They're not getting it from the most high. This person is now very confused about what they believe to be true. This person is very confused. They've been living a lie and they've been sowing seeds of manipulation that now the biggest form of manipulation has manifested into their life where they feel like everything that they knew to be true is a actual lie. This person feels very foolish now. They feel like a fucking clown. Fool in the reverse and trash box. This is how this person feels. This is how they look. This is how this King of Pentacles, King of Cups is viewing this person. It's like, yo, you're a fool. You're a clown. You're a trash box. <laughs> you know, like, I'm, I'm serious, y'all. I'm serious. This is how this shit is coming out. Yeah, their intuition is blocked. We got intuitive Kevin in reverse. Their intuition is blocked, man. And we got temperance in the reverse. This person is pissed off. Somebody here could also be a Sagittarius or they could have Sag in their chart. Somebody here feels foolish. Somebody here is a water sign, a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Sag. Or they could have that in their chart. But this person definitely feels foolish. Somebody here could also be a Leo. This person feels foolish. Whoever you are collective, you're receiving. Yes. You're receiving. You could be working together with someone. You could be collaborating with someone. You have some sort of big blessing or opportunity that could be coming your way. Something is being presented to you. Yes, yeah, something is going to make you very happy too, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could also be getting something in a form of like money. Some of you could actually be getting some like actual money, like some sort of abundance here in the form of prosperity, fortune, finances. Yes, Ace of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. If somebody here may be offering you some sort of help. You may have a great team. You may be meeting um, very powerful, motivational, and ins inspirational, influential people, okay, that could really help you in some way, collective. Some of you could even be meeting members of your soul tribe. Whoever this person is that was obsessed with you, they don't want to obsess over you no more. It has gotten them nowhere. Yeah, this person is very unhappy. The sun in the reverse. This person don't want to obsess over you anymore. They unhappy. And their obsession with you has led them down a road of destruction. This person has sacrificed themselves. They have sabotaged themselves. This is self-destruction at its finest. And whoever this person is that's been obsessed with you is unhappy. Somebody here could be a Leo or a Sag. Or they could have Leo or Sag in their chart. Yeah, somebody here betrayed y'all. And they thought that it was going to hurt you. Yeah, somebody here came in quick to betray y'all. Okay? Also, be mindful, too, of somebody here wanting to reach out to you with some quick, fast communication. Somebody here could be trying to send you an email, a message, a letter, phone call, text, whatever. Somebody here could be trying to reach out to y'all, okay, very quickly here to try to prove that they're innocent, but they're not. I'm also getting a message here, collective, whoever you are, you're innocent. You know, you just about your business. Queen of Pentacles, you stand on business. You're very responsible. I feel like you're financially stable. Or you make good investments. You make wise investments. Yeah. Or you're about to be in this Queen of Pentacles energy. But I feel like you've already embodied this Queen of Pentacles energy. And somebody here just wanted to take from you. The enemy wanted to kill, steal, and destroy. And somebody here is now upset. Because they came for the innocent, and now this shit is being mirrored back to them. They got all these legal issues coming in. They got all this shit that's happening to them now, and they pissed off. This person's been exposed, and they tight. Yeah, they've been exposed. The goddamn devil. This is somebody that's obsessive, possessive, controlling, toxic as fuck. Somebody here could also have a Capricorn placement, or they could be a Capricorn sun sign. Somebody here is mad because you got passion coming into your life, collective. You got happiness. There's a happy ending here for you in this situation. You are the victor. You are victorious, okay? You are the winner here. You are the chosen. You are the enlightened. You are the light worker, the star seed. The most high work for you. You know what I'm saying? Well, you work for the most high, but the work, the most high makes sure that he worked together with, you know, his his leaders. He he makes sure that he worked together with the archangels. He sent the archangels to protect you. Your ancestors are there. Your, all of your angels are there. Guardian and archangels. I'm telling you, 
everything working out in your favor two of cups there's some sort of equal give and take partnership that you guys could be forming with someone or this is what's about to come in in the near in the near future yeah there's a lot of passion that's coming into your life okay a lot of passion that's coming into your life passion and two of cups came out together here so queen of pentacles baby doll you got some passion coming in and whoever this passion is with this could be your twin here this king of pentacles you guys are mirroring each other let's just talk about that this person showed up as the king of pentacles and you showing up as the queen of pentacles somebody's favorite color in this situation could be green somebody here could be wearing green okay money green bling bling chub motherfucking chain whoever y'all are y'all very wealthy there's some sort of divine inheritance that's connected to both of you. Y'all running it the fuck up. I feel like this person is secure in the bag and so are you. King and Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. This person is in love with you or this person's going to fall in love with you. They're going to be head over heels for you. Yeah, this emotional manipulation did not work. This shit did not work. It backfired. And if it was working at some point in time, it's no longer working. We have emotional manipulation in the reverse. Whoever this Queen of Cups in the reverse is, they cannot manipulate this person anymore. This was a karmic connection. So somebody here is with your twin and they formed a karmic connection with this person. And now this King of Pentacles, King of Cups, and this King of Pentacles, King of Cups is now realizing that this was a karmic connection. They realized that this Queen of Cups in the reverse is a clown. This person is a trash box. They're a false person. They're Jezebel spirit. They realized that this was a karmic connection. The emotional manipulation, the love spells, all of that shit has worn off. It has fucking backfired. This bitch has been exposed. Okay, let me see. Emotional manipulation. Let's see what Kev wrote for that. Emotional manipulation. It says, one who manipulates or distorts the emotional energy of another. Narcissistic tendencies. Yes, whoever this Queen of Cups in the reverse is, shorty could be a whole narcissist. Okay, she could be a full-blown narcissist, or even if she's not a full-blown narcissist, she definitely has strong narcissistic tendencies. She be doing the absolute most. And this is somebody that was a third-party enemy that has forced their way in the middle of a twin flame connection. They are a karmic. Okay, but this masculine is aware of this shit now. His eyes are opening to this. He's aware of this. This person could, this masculine energy could be a Capricorn. He could be a Taurus or Virgo. He could have strong earth somewhere in his chart. Collective, you could also have strong earth in your chart. You may have Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn somewhere in your chart. For some of y'all, this karmic is going to jail. Yes, three of swords. For some of y'all, this karmic may actually be going to jail, y'all. They may actually be going to jail. I'm telling you, it's some sort of legal issues that's coming up for this person. Okay, yes, and the eight of swords came out. Somebody here is heartbroken now. Three of Swords to the Eight of Swords. Or this is just a mental prison. Somebody here may be in spiritual jail. But I'm telling you, somebody here is on lockdown now. This person could have also been trying to send some sort of spell work your way to get you to have legal issues. No, absolutely not. This person could have been trying to get you to have some sort of legal issues so that you could be out of the picture, so that you could be locked up, so that you could be fucked up, so that you could be in a fucked up position, so that you, this person won't come towards you. They coming towards you or they have already come towards you. Knight of Wands. They getting away from this Empress in the reverse. And all of her black magic is backfiring. Look at this shit. Black magic in the reverse. Emotional manipulation in the reverse. Okay? Ace of Swords in the upright. The truth has been exposed. Things have been revealed. This person has definitely, he, they definitely seen the truth now. The truth has been exposed in this situation. Empress in the reverse, black magic in the reverse. This shit is backfiring on this person. Whoever this queen of cups in the reverse is this empress in the reverse. She could be going through some sort of mental issues right now. Um, like I said, her intuition is definitely blocked. Um, she's not getting the right downloads, the right messages. Whatever she thinks she know, she don't know. It's like the devil is playing tricks on her mind right now because she was using her gifts with ill intent. For some of y'all, that's exactly what's going on. But I'm telling you, this shit has backfired. Black magic in the reverse. That shit has backfired. It has backfired. Let's see what Kev wrote for black magic. It says, dark manipulation, spell work, negative intention. Yes, all of this negative intention, all of this spell work, all of these negative projections, all of this dark manipulation has backfired on this empress in the reverse. This is somebody that's a karmic, and they was trying to form a twin flame connection, but they are not a fucking twin. They are a karmic. There is nothing divine about this person. 
you guys have the knight of wands here okay somebody here could be coming towards you guys it could be this king of pentacles king of cups yes the king of wands this person is oh <laughs> who this who this y'all okay who this okay mr gq himself okay somebody here got a, a nice print too something going on here with this person man somebody here got a nice print or a nice body or a nice this nice that nice cologne oh this person just they just oh they just mm, delicious okay whoever the fuck this is is delicious y'all king of wands king of cups king of pentacles this person could have strong fire water or earth in a chart could be their sun moon venus or rising placement fire water earth Okay, so that's Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But whoever this person is, they showing up as the King of Wands, the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Oh, that's Big Daddy right there. That's an Emperor right there. They showing up as the Kings in the Upright. They done showed up as three Kings in the Upright. This person is the Emperor. This person has a lot of passion for you. Knight of Wands, whoever this Queen of Cups in the Reverse is, that has been trying to block this and interfere with this connection is now being removed. This person's being removed out of the way. And for some of y'all, it's so bad here that now somebody here, got to, they got to go to jail just to get out of the damn way. Spirit had to make sure that this person was out of the way. Yeah, this person is now hanging by their fucking ankles. They're depressed. This person feels depressed. They feel lonely. They could be feeling very drained, very tired, very weak, very fragile. Yeah, this person knows that they don't have a new beginning. This is somebody that could have been under the impression that they was going to have um, some new beginning, some sort of passion coming into their life. Um, no, it, it's not working. Whatever this new beginning is, it's not working. It's not happening. Yeah. And whoever you are collective, they could also be under the illusion that you think you're getting a new beginning and you're not. Like I said, everything is reversing. So it's a lot of tricks. It's a lot of mind games. The same way this bitch has been trying to play with this King of Wands mind. The same way they've been trying to send you energy and do spell work on you to play with your mind. Mental magic and all that shit. Confusion spells. The only person that's really confused in the situation is her simple ass. Because she is still under the illusion that she's being seen as the Empress. She is still under some sort of illusion that she's going to have this beautiful connection with somebody when she's a Carmen. She's still under that illusion. I promise you. Whoever this Queen of Cups in the reverse is, this person done did so much fucking magic that they don't even know what's the truth and what's not. Yeah, their secrets have been exposed. This shit is not a secret anymore. We got secrets in the reverse here. Let's see what Kevin wrote for that. Yeah, secrets here. All right, their secrets been exposed. I'm telling you, it's been exposed here. It says something hidden or unknown. It's in the reverse. It's not hidden anymore. It's not unknown anymore. All these, this spiritual warfare, all these spiritual attacks, all this bullshit, that shit is not a secret anymore. It's been exposed. Yeah, it's not hidden anymore. That shit has been exposed, okay, period. Period. Okay. Period. Yes. This person could have been waiting. Okay. For you to suffer in some way. For, for you to have a towel moment. And what's so crazy is they could also be working with somebody that's a king of swords in the reverse. You know, this king of swords in the reverse comes out a lot in the messages. This person could be a Libra, a, a Gemini, Aquarius. They could have strong air in a chart. But this person is a narcissist. This king of swords in the reverse come out a lot in our messages. Whoever this narcissist is, whoever this distorted masculine energy is, they've been working together with this queen of cups in the reverse to come in between a twin flame connection, period. This is somebody here that has also been working with this queen of cups in the reverse to manipulate this situation. This is, whoever this king of swords in the reverse is, this is somebody that may want you, but you don't want them. For some of you, this could even be a karmic ex of yours that is working with this distorted karmic feminine, this Jezebel spirit. So for some of y'all, your twin is literally with someone that knows your karmic ex and they work together to interfere with this connection. For some of y'all, that's exactly what happened. Whoever this King of Swords in the reverse is, this is somebody that's upset because they're losing a lot. This is somebody that's upset because they know that their wish fulfillment is not coming in. This is somebody that feels like they never get what they want. This person is a sore fucking loser and they're very hateful. They don't want to see anybody happy. Anybody that's happy, it disturbs them, it upsets them. This is somebody that tries to interfere and block people's relationships. They try to block people's intuition. They try to block anything that will provide stability or happiness for somebody. This is a happiness hater. This person could also be a spiritual hater, okay? 
say they hate on people that's gifted. They hate on people that are very tapped in. They hate on people that have some sort of spiritual gifts here. Whoever this King of Swords in reverse is, this person is a non-believer. But this person may pose as a religious leader is what I just heard. So for some of y'all, this King of Swords in reverse is somebody that likes to pose as a religious leader or somebody that has strong faith or whatever hateful shit they doing. They they like to make, they like to twist and turn it and make it seem like they doing it for the greater good, the greater good of humanity. This person is a fucking clown. Okay, imagine this, a religious psychopath. Like that's literally what this King of Swords in reverse is giving me. For some of y'all, this is how this person shows up in the world. And then for others of y'all, they just downright a non-believer. This is somebody that may even worship, you know, some other shit, you know? But there we go. Four wands in the reverse. For some of y'all, this is somebody that you could have been connected to. Maybe you got a divorce from this person. You broke up with this person. You separated from this person. And then for others of you, this is just somebody that you was never interested in. This is somebody that here that you could have turned down. You know what I'm saying? You just wasn't interested in this person. You just, whoever you are, you divine. So your intuition was just already telling you that that wasn't somebody that you should engage with. That's not somebody that you should invest in. Some of y'all, you definitely rejected this person. You didn't even give them the time of day. And they were so upset. They could have found out who your twin was. They partnered up with this this Jezebel spirit that is now forcing their way into your twin flame connection trying to take your person trying to be you this shit is going down something here is crumbling to the motherfucking ground i'm telling you and with the four of wands in the reverse here she's not getting nothing the same way this king of swords in the reverse is unhappy and not receiving anything neither is she neither is she this could be an interracial situation as well for some of you maybe you guys are of different ethnicities different races uh some of you if you are the same race there could just be a major difference with the skin tones somebody in the situation could be very light and the other person could be very melanated just take it as it resonate that's for some of y'all okay but if this message resonate it resonate it doesn't matter you know what um ethnicity you are you know what's your culture it doesn't matter but for some of y'all this is just extra confirmation okay some of y'all could definitely have a major difference in skin tones one person is way lighter than the other person but yeah she's been exposed for being a liar queen of swords in reverse somebody has definitely a sagittarius a gemini a water sign okay or an aquarius or they have that in a chart but i'm telling you this person has been exposed as being a liar or fraud and she don't even know what to do anymore this is somebody that wants to continue to lie and it's like she don't even know like what she should say she don't even know what she should do it's like what do i say now this bitch done lied so much for some of y'all she can't even believe everything she can't even remember everything that she said you know what i'm saying she can't even remember everything that she said that's how much she be fucking lying she don't even remember shit she said she being exposed and she can't even keep up with her fucking lies because she lies so damn much damn you know it's a mess here it's a mess for this queen of cups in the reverse this queen of swords in the reverse it's a mess yes high priest is in the reverse it's a mess for this person whoever you are collective your divine partner is here and she's very jealous queen of wands in the reverse she could be an air sign a water sign or a fire sign but i'm telling you she hateful Queen of Wands in the reverse, High Priestess in the reverse. This is a wannabe, a copycat, a doppelganger. Somebody here could have a Leo moon placement, a Pisces moon placement, a Virgo moon placement. Somebody here got a Pisces, Virgo, or a Leo moon placement. Somebody here could have an Aquarius placement, a Gemini placement. Whoever this person is, they are a High Priestess in the reverse, a Queen of Wands in the reverse. This is somebody that's very jealous very argumentative this is somebody that attacks people based on their beauty their gifts their enlightenment they're, they're just jealous they're just hateful okay this is somebody that is just hateful they're also hateful because they feel like you've gone through some sort of ascension collective and they feel like your ascension is bringing in your divine partner they feel like as you continue to heal grow and evolve it is bringing in your actual counterpart your actual twin flame your actual divine partner they feel like it's calling them in your healing your growth you raising your vibration is also enlightening your person. Y'all are mirroring each other at this at this time, and they feel like y'all coming together. Whoever you are collective, you could be single. The lovers, y'all are coming together. And it's the perfect time for y'all to come together because you're single. Eight of cups in the reverse. This person is coming. That's it. They coming. They are coming. Y'all are mirrored souls. The love never died. This person, hearts beat. their heart beats for you and vice versa. Your heart beats for them. 
We have the lovers here, the two of cups, divine partner, twin flame connection. This is the perfect time for you. You're single, nine of pentacles. It's the perfect time for this to come together. This is another reason why she's mad because you're single. Somebody here could have been trying to put you in a lustful energy as well so that you can um, accept the offer from a false lover, from a false person, but it didn't work. It didn't work. Somebody here wanted to send you some sort of lustful energy so that you could be with somebody that's a karmic so it could block your connection, so it could block your divine partner, so it could block your twin flame, your soulmate, your counterpart, your kingdom spouse. Somebody here wanted you to miss out on this. I can't make it up. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Somebody here also wants to manipulate you some more okay it's something here about some manipulative energy being sent your way so that you'll reject this person somebody wants you to sabotage your twin flame connection that's what they want i'm literally about to title this shit that somebody here don't want you to invest in this person they want you to breadcrumb this situation they don't want you to invest in it they want you to miss out on this opportunity they want you to miss out on this love they tried their hardest to sabotage this and they couldn't. So now they trying to just manipulate you in order to get you to sabotage your own shit. No, collective. With the lovers here, there's a choice that needs to be made. This is something that you definitely deserve. This is something that is supposed to be happening for you. This is fate playing out. Yeah, this person is coming in. Yep, they sure are. For some of y'all, this person could be at a distance from you. But they won't be from they won't be at a distance for long. For some of you, they won't be at a distance for long. I cannot make it up. Six of swords. Soon as I said they won't be at a distance for long, the six of swords came out. This is somebody that wants to come towards you. For some of you, your person could be an Aquarius or they could have Aquarius in their chart. Yeah, this person got a lot of work being done on them. There could be a practitioner here that's a Taurus that's been doing spell work on them, or somebody with strong Taurus in their chart has been doing spell work on this person. Somebody here could be Spanish or light skinned, very light here. This person may be light. Somebody here may also have a bald head. Somebody here could have light colored eyes for some of y'all. Somebody here got very minimal facial hair. Okay. Whoever this person is, they're a false prophet. They're a practitioner here. This is somebody that work in the dark arts. They've been trying to manipulate this people, this person, keep them bound, keep them trapped, keep them stuck with a queen of cups in the reverse. Somebody here could also be trying to use religious factors to keep this person bound to somebody that's not for them. Okay, so if your emperor, if there's some sort of difference here in, in your beliefs or um, your upbringing in some sort of way here, somebody here has been trying to push that on them, trying to force that on them to keep them away from y'all. Yeah, it's not working. I cannot make it up. We have the emperor here in the upright. These haters are being exposed. They're being revealed. They're being seen, right? And they're being moved out of the way. They're being permanently removed out of the fucking way. Your emperor is ready. They're ready. They're suited and fucking booted. They're ready to come towards you. Somebody here could be an Aries or an Aquarius or they could have that in a chart. I cannot make it up. We got the Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups. They miss you. They want you. Bad. You understand what I'm saying? Their heart is longing for you. Six of Cups. This person don't know what they would do without you. This person cannot take this shit anymore. Yes, Ten of Pentacles. I told you. There's some sort of inheritance connected to you guys. There's some sort of divine inheritance connected to y'all. And this Queen of Cups in the reverse, this Hierophant in the reverse, this King of Swords in the reverse, they all knew that, which is why their main focus was to keep you two separated. This Queen of Cups in the reverse could have even been under some sort of illusion that her being with your person was going to bring in some sort of inheritance for her no in order for you guys to really get to this ten of pentacles you two would actually need to come together they cannot have this without you like literally that's how it's come that's how it's going down that's how this shit is showing up and she crying now she feel like this person wants absolutely nothing to do with her and she would be right this person don't want shit to do with her at all he's over it <laughs> like this man is over it y'all I'm telling you, whoever this masculine is, whoever your emperor is, this person is over it. They over the bullshit. They over the shit. They could be looking at her as the Jezebel that she is. You know, she could be somebody that's very promiscuous as well, but she may like to appear to be somebody that's not. This, this bitch is a fucking fraud, and this person sees the truth. And it done got so bad to the point where he like, I don't even need to hear nothing else. I don't even need to see nothing else. I know exactly what's going on in this situation. I want out. I'm done. I'm not fucking with this no more. He's not fucking with this no more at all. He's really not. Whoever your emperor is, this person has seen enough. They have heard enough. They are not fucking with this situation at all. They like, hell no. Nope. 
No, I don't want nothing to do with this. No, 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 no. This is some thirsty ass shit though. Yeah, this love offer is coming in or it has come in. Ace of Cups. You're not missing out on anything that's for you. What's for you is for you, baby. You're not missing out on shit. And whoever this karmic is, she could go ahead somewhere. This bitch tried to sacrifice y'all. Yes, sacrifices. This bitch tried to sacrifice y'all. Whoever this karmic fem is, this is somebody that tried to sacrifice y'all with this hyperfall in the reverse, this practitioner. Look at this shit. The hyperfall in the reverse came back out. Yeah, somebody here tried to sacrifice y'all, but you healed. You keep healing. You keep moving forward. Somebody here don't understand how you still up and running, how you still up and moving. They unhappy about this shit because they know everything working out in your favor. The fact that you healed, the fact that you still breathing, the fact that you out here still moving, you still doing shit. This person is very unhappy. They're very confused. There's a karmic Leo, a karmic Libra, a karmic Taurus that's all upset. They all knew about this. Yeah, this Empress in the reverse could be a Leo or a Libra, or they could have that in their chart. There's somebody here that's an Empress in the reverse that is pissed off. That you keep moving forward, that you keep healing, that you don't have any distorted energy, that you're not confused. Your intuition is not blocked. They stressed out about this shit. A Sagittarius. There's a high priestess in the reverse that's a Libra, a Leo, a Sag, or they could have that in their chart. Somebody here is mad because your income constantly increases. There's a karmic Gemini that's upset. I keep telling y'all it's a Gemini here for some of y'all. This person is a Libra, a Leo, a Pisces, a Sag, or a Gemini, or they have that in a chart, or that's all these people's signs. They have those um, they have those signs in a chart, highly aspected. Gemini, Libra, Leo, Pisces, Sagittarius here. Yeah, these people are mad, Cancer, okay? Somebody here has been trying to get an Aries to go against you. Your person could be a Sag or Aries or an Aquarius. Yeah, this shit is coming to an end. The tower. This magic, this manipulation, this shit is backfired on these people. This shit is clipped. It's over. The fuck they thought this was? Magician in the reverse to the tower. God is bringing the, he's slamming the hammer down on this shit. The fuck these motherfuckers thought this was? You could be a Virgo that I'm speaking to, or you could have Virgo in your chart that resonate with this message. Virgo, you are the true empress. You are the motherfucking truth. I cannot make it up. If you're a Virgo and you resonate with this message, this is definitely your message. If you have strong Virgo placements in your chart and this message resonates with you, this is confirmation that this is your message. Yeah, whoever you are, you have strong intuition. You see this shit clearly. You know who the karmics are. You know that somebody here has been trying to tear down your ten of cups. Somebody here could have also been trying to send spell work your way to your home, to your environment. Yeah, to your ten of cups here. You are the star. You are the chosen, the light worker. You are the healer. You are the star seed. You are the fucking star. Okay? You are an alchemist. Libra energy. Justice. Big justice for you. You could be an Aquarius, a Virgo, or a Libra that I'm talking to that resonate with this. Or you can have that in your chart. All right? Six of Wands. You being celebrated. You are the victor. You're the victor. You being celebrated, Empress. You being celebrated as the true healer. You the one, baby. It's always been you. Motherfuckers can't imitate you. Often imitated, never duplicated. You understand me? Judgment got called in this situation. You the real deal. You the real motherfucking deal. I don't know what these people thought was going to happen. <laughs> but they thought wrong. They fucked around and they found out. Best believe that. Like, get out of here with this shit. These people are fucking crazy. Connection or no connection, y'all motherfuckers got the game fucked up. Pack it up. The fuck? <laughs> like, come on now. Whatever they thought this shit was, it ain't what they thought it was. They need to go ahead with that shit. Let's get y'all some angel numbers. Angel numbers for my collective. Some of you could be seeing 1144. You leveling up. Period. You leveling up. I'm hearing, I'm on my way up. <laughs> okay? I'm on my way up. Yeah, you on your way up, collective. It's only up from here. You leveling up. Chosen ones, we leveling up. Emperors and empresses. My kings and queens. My divine gods and goddesses. Y'all are leveling the fuck up. Y'all are bossing up. Often imitated, never duplicated. Okay, this is a time of reflection for you, 666. Some of y'all could be seeing 666. Okay, you got an adventure coming in. Okay, so there's a lot of adventure, a lot of passion, a lot of, a lot of excitement coming into your life at this time. Yes, yes, yes. Some of you could also be seeing 999. All right. 
999, some of you could be seeing 66, 99, 44, 11, 11, 111, 1144. Y'all seeing those numbers collective? Yes. But you leveling up. You going deep within. A lot of y'all could be doing really strong, powerful rituals, powerful meditations here. That's working for you. Yes, 69. Some of y'all could be seeing 69, 55. There's been a strong, powerful cosmic shift that's been happening for you collective. Strong, powerful cosmic shift. Somebody here could be born on the 9th or the 19th of a month. Somebody here could be born on the 6th or the 16th of a month. Somebody here could be born on the 4th or the 14th of a month. Somebody here could also be born on the 1st or the 11th of a month. Somebody here could be born in January, November, okay, June, September. Somebody here could have Gemini, Cancer, Libra, Virgo, Scorpio, or Aries, highly aspected in a chart. Okay, chosen ones, let's see. 1144, let's get into it. 1144, what that's saying, what that's talking about. The best decisions are made from a place of peace and stability, all right? Peace and stability. Best decisions are made from a, a place of peace and stability, okay? You are making positive adjustments, okay? Your healthy habits are cultivating a life of greater happiness and reward. So a lot of y'all could be getting into some sort of healthy habits, healthy ways of living, Okay, you finding a center of stability and peace. You doing the hard inner work. You doing that shadow work. It says you breaking up stale routines in favor of healing practices. You putting your heart into work you're proud of. Your affirmation says, I level up my life by changing one thing at a time. Yes, I level up my life by changing one thing at a time. Yes, collected. Then we have reflect. Okay, people get worried when they see this number 666, but this is just a number of reflection. Your angels are asking you to take a step back, okay, to reflect, all right? Examine your current circumstances. Understand that if you're not headed in a direction that speaks to your truth, then you may go, you may need to go in another direction. You may need to redirect, okay? Do your relationships lift you up? Does your job fulfill you, okay? Have you been putting your energy into things that simply don't work for you any longer? Okay, so this is reflection and redirection. You also need to make sure that you um, establish a healthy way of thinking, right? Look at things on the brighter side. Be optimistic, right? See things from a positive uh, standpoint, right? Look at things from a higher perspective, all right? Monitor your ways of thinking. A lot of you are master manifestors out there, so it's very important for you to master and control your thoughts, okay? Listen, I'm telling you. It says take time to reflect on your circumstances. Put your energy into necessary changes, honesty, and stripping away from any illusions. This is a signal for you to pay attention to your needs. Your affirmation says, I am aligned, divine, and my life is on time. I am aligned, divine, and my life is right on time, collective. Yes. Then we got 999. Okay. Endings are also beginnings. So there's a cycle that's coming to a close for you, and there's a new beginning that's happening for you. Again, a lot of adventure, a lot of excitement. Okay. A lot of passion is coming into your life. Okay. Let go of what used to be. Ditch those past patterns that no longer serve you. It's time to evolve into a new leveled up version of yourself. You can use your newfound wisdom both to help yourself find a better path forward and to be an advocate for those who need it. When one door closes, another opens. You get to choose how you walk through it. It says you're reflecting on your journey so far. Lessons learned. You're going through a transformation. There's fresh opportunities on the horizon. And you're being a positive force in the lives of others. So you could be somebody that's very influential, very motivational. Some of you are powerful speakers and leaders. You may even be an oracle or a messenger. You may be a prophet, a prophetess. Your affirmation says incredibly exciting things are happening in my life. Yes, incredibly exciting things are happening in your life collective. This is a time for you to be excited, okay? It's time for you to get excited about your future, about your current position in life, okay? Be grateful for where you currently are, okay? You are living out answered prayers at this current moment in time. A lot of y'all are living out a lot of things that you've prayed for and tried to manifest in the past. You are already living out answered prayers. You know that things always work out for you, collective. Okay, somebody here definitely a life path number nine. Or somebody here could be born in September. Or somebody here is definitely born on the ninth of the month. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of nines right now. You could be seeing a lot of ones, a lot of fours, a lot of nines, a lot of sixes. 
okay but we got 36 which breaks down to a nine it says be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life yes collective i'm hearing the world is your oyster the world is at your fingertips be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life some of you you could be born on the eighth of a month some of you could be a life path eight somebody here could be born in august that this message resonates with but there's a journey that's indicated either physically or metaphorically but your life is becoming more full yes it's your birthright to live a magical and enriched life is what i'm hearing abundance is your birthright collective that's your affirmation for today as well abundance is my birthright abundance is my birthright all right there's a journey indicated physically or metaphorically some of you are traveling okay whether you physically traveling or you just traveling in spirit as far as you raising your vibration you travel into a new frequency yes 11 again with the ones okay so we got a lot of nines a lot of ones like i said some of you could also be seeing 119 i know i kept seeing that number the other night some of you could be seeing 919 911 okay but yes, 1111, 111, flowers. It says, be generous, success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Okay, somebody here could be born on the 11th of a month. Somebody here could be born in November. Somebody here could be born on the 1st of a month. Somebody here could be born in January. All right, but definitely wake up and smell the roses. Wake up and smell the flowers collective, okay? Your life is beautiful. Things are turning out for you in a beautiful way. Somebody here could be born on the 21st or the 12th of a month. Somebody here could be born on the 3rd or the 13th of a month. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. I told you, you're very intuitive. You're the one with the true discernment. You know what to do in this situation. You know that your guidance comes from the most high. You're not confused. Like that empress in the reverse, whose chakras is blocked, who's being misguided, whose intuition is blocked who doesn't have discernment, you are the complete opposite collective. You the one with the true, true, strong intuition. You are intuitive. You are a seer. You are gifted. Pay attention to your intuition. Do not doubt yourself. Somebody here wants you to doubt your intuition. No, please don't. You could be born in October. Shout out to all the Libras out there. Shout out to the Scorpios. Okay? Let go of any emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. You are being restored. This is your season of restoration, okay? You are being restored. Things are being replenished in your life, okay? There's a season of reformation and restoration, okay? Yes, all right? And some of you could be born on the 8th of a month. Again, some of you could be a life path 8. Some of you could be born in August. You guys could be Leos or Virgos. But it says, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. You're being renewed. It's, it's, it's a very... It's very important for you to be confident. It's very important for you to trust your ancestors. It's very important for you to trust the guidance that you're receiving. It's very important for you to trust the downloads. It's very important for you to trust the messages, the dreams that you have. And a lot of you have these prophetic dreams, these visions. It's important for you not to deceive yourself, for you not to self-sabotage by doubting yourself, by doubting and questioning your intuition have confidence move forward okay this is a great time of joy renewal and connection to spirit some of you are connected to the moon all right but you guys are alchemists you are fairies you are earth angels you are star seeds you are prophets prophetess you are high priestesses high priests hierophants i'm telling you you are so powerful that you are connected to all of nature you are connected to all living all that is all of god's creation some of you could definitely be having some sort of magical experience while outdoors, while out in nature, or you need to meditate outdoors. You need to get outside. You need to go out in nature. Some of you, you need to fucking hug a tree. You need to plant your feet, your bare feet in grass. You need to ground yourself by literally grounding yourself, putting your bare feet in the grass, okay? Hugging a tree, connecting with nature. Some of you could be seeing large birds at this time. Some of you could be coming across a lot of feathers, that's also your ancestors and your angels way of communicating to you letting you know that they're near some of you could also be seeing dragonflies okay but have confidence trust your intuition don't self-sabotage don't sabotage this connection either somebody here wants you to forfeit this shit they want you to sabotage this contract because they've worked very hard to do this shit and now it's all backfiring it's all backfiring all right collective i love you guys so so much again happy october everybody Happy October 3rd. Um, happy birthday to all the Libras that may be celebrating today. And um, yeah, have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your week. 
We getting close to the weekend, y'all. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tapping in with your girl. Even though this is titled for October 3rd, whenever you come across this message is when it may resonate with you. Again, this is a timeless reading. Take care. Peace.